Hurricane Dorian devastated parts of the Bahamas. It also hit some coastal states hard, leaving homeowners to dry out. And once again, it put flood insurance in the spotlight with all of its high costs and perceived deficiencies. But now a group of startups say they can fix that. As you saw, Contessa Brewer is in Wilmington, North Carolina for us tonight. Hurricane Dorian's floodwater still laps at Sue McKenzie's Wilmington garage. A second hurricane in less than three years since she moved to North Carolina from Pittsburgh. And Florence came into the house and did significant damage. But McKenzie weathered the storm better than her neighbors because she would bought a flood insurance policy, though she doesn't live in a FEMA designated flood zone. Neither does John Meyer, though he's got the pictures to prove how swamped he got in Hurricane Florence. John, are you anywhere near a river? Nowhere near. Are you anywhere near the ocean? It's uh, about six miles from here and about 30 feet lower. Did you have flood insurance? I did not. I have a, uh, the deed and the survey from a mortgage back in the 80s. It has very clearly stamped on it. This property is not in a flood zone. For years, big insurers avoided offering private flood insurance. It was seen as too risky. But now insurers are moving beyond FEMA's famously outdated flood maps and using new tech to analyze the data and the risk. Chubb says it factors in property characteristic details, mapping and modeling intelligence to measure exposure to surface water and storm surge, new tools and scientific data to assess individual risk. That house has a completely unique profile from that house, from that house. The water floods differently, the elevation is different, the historical losses are different. Jim Albert started Neptune Flood Insurance three years ago. No one thinks they need flood insurance. He and other insure tech startups are flooding the market with new products. Using algorithms, specific climate data, high tech water flow modeling, Albert says he can offer homeowners a truer picture of their vulnerability and do so faster than FEMA. You can enter your address and in two minutes you can have a quote. The trend toward digital insurance and individual risk assessment is fueling exponential growth. Neptune is on track to grow 400% year over year and just announced a partnership with the world's largest property and casualty insurer, AXA XL. Nationwide demand for flood insurance policies has grown from 12% in 2016 to 15% last year, according to the Insurance Information Institute. At one point, it was 10% of my book would ask for flood or needed flood, but now it's definitely probably a quarter of my book. Still, many homeowners don't carry coverage. According to Verisk, 61 million homes are at risk of flooding. That's five times FEMA's assessment, and only 5 million homes have a national flood insurance policy. Armed with better science and advanced tech, insurers are rushing to meet the need. In Wilmington, North Carolina, Contessa Brewer, Nightly Business Report.